first thing we need to do is find the domain. So we take the stuff that's in the parentheses that we're taking the logarithm of, and we say that that has to be greater than zero, so x has to be greater than four. So there's the domain. Then we're going to graph this equation. A logarithmic graph would normally be here, going through the point one zero. But because of the minus four, that moves that point to the right four. One, two, three, four, so it will be a five instead. And then up two, so it takes that point and moves it up two. Okay, so, and then that means the asymptote that's normally at zero will move also to the right four, so it'll be there instead. So our graph will look like this. Okay, based on the graph, find the range and the asymptotes. What's the range from the bottom to top? All real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity, good. And where's the asymptote again? The equation x equals 4 for that vertical line. Okay, now we find the inverse. To find the inverse, we trade x and y. So we go y equals, well, yeah, the f of x is a y, so we're going to go trade the x and y. So x equals log y minus 4 plus 2. So now in order to get rid of a logarithm, we have to change it to an exponent. But we can't do that with this extra 2 hanging out right here, so we have to move that over. So we'll have x minus 2 equals log y minus 4. Okay, now we think a logarithm is an exponent. What's the base of this logarithm? Base 10. What's the exponent? x minus 2. And that's the other stuff, right? So we go, the base is 10, the exponent is x minus 2, and that is equal to this other stuff, y minus 4. So then we solve it for y by adding the 4. So 10 to the x minus 2 power plus 4. Okay, now let's find the domain. That is the inverse. Now we find the domain by um, thinking what x can be. Well, x can be anything. And then let's graph it. So the graph will take our exponential function that's normally would be like in this area right here, and it'll move it up 4 and right 2. So the point that's normally at 0, 1 will move right 4, no, right 2 and up 4. So it'll be right there instead. And the asymptote that's normally at 0 will be up here at 0, so that means our exponential function will look something like that. Okay, so then domain is that. What's the range? Four to infinity, right? And we have a graph. What's another way of writing this range? Y is greater than four? Okay. All right, so now let's put this all together, just analyze this a little bit. Remember how the inverse of a function, the domain and range, just trade? We'll look at the domain of our function and look at the range of our function. Then we found the inverse and we found the domain and range. Look at the ra domain of this function. What do you notice? See how the domain of this one is the same as the range of that one? And then look at the range of this one. The range of this function is the same as the domain of that one, except that one we call x and one we call y. 